Now, a few weeks ago, a street in the Mission was a maze of tents and sidewalk vendors. Even a mother with her stroller couldn't even get through. So neighbors, well, they took action. They raised thousands of dollars on their own, and just weeks later, it took a dramatic turn. Look at this difference, for sure. But can they do that? We will send our Betty Yu to find out. A San Francisco mother who lives nearby decided to record what a typical walk with her baby is like on Harrison between 18th and 19th. On this day, she was headed to a community meeting to address neighborhood concerns. Ah. The sidewalk appeared impassable, so she pushed her stroller into the bike lane to get around. She said at one point, the person from the encampment became upset at her filming <laughs> and threw alcohol on her. It was just, these were some t bad news, tough characters. There were, uh, police were called down here every week, if not multiple times a week. There were stabbings. Longtime resident David Dempsey took a walk down the same sidewalk Monday for the first time in years after a neighborhood group raised more than $20,000 online to install planters along several blocks of Harrison. He said particularly at night, the sidewalk turned into an illegal bicycle chop shop or worse. It's unfortunate that as a city uh, with our $14 billion budget that the city can't manage sidewalks properly, but everybody in the neighborhood is thrilled. There's not a single, again, I've lived here 25 years. I know everybody in the neighborhood. Nobody has a problem with this. In fact, San Francisco Public Works said it supports neighbors' efforts to green and beautify their communities. We have specific director's orders that sets guidelines for planter boxes on the sidewalk. Our main concern is to ensure that an accessible path of travel is maintained and that the planters are well maintained. The planters on Harrison appear to meet the standards. Sidewalks need to be for our children to play in. Our family yeah. accessible for people in wheelchairs. Longtime residents Francesca Pastine and Lucy Junis from the Intermission Neighborhood Association advised the Harrison Street Group on their project. The two helped place 150 wine barrel planters, including these, around the mission to make the sidewalks more inviting. This was a particularly bad encampment. I was afraid to get near it. When they just put the planters in, they didn't even have all the dirt in. I walked down the, on that block. It was just beautiful. While he appreciates the planters, David doesn't know how long the sidewalk will stay clear. Well, you can see somebody, you know, people are tagging them already. Now, we did reach out to Project Homeless Connect and the Coalition on Homelessness for their reaction to the planter installation. So far, we have not heard back.